Hi Pisces, I'm Tyler DeSantis and this is going to be your reading for February 2019. Um, so this is Pisces Sun Moon Rising. Oh, first card out. <laughs> Just popped up. Nine of Pentacles reversed. Now, the Nine of the Pentacles upright is about abundance and pleasure and um, reaping what you sow, getting your crops, like being in a rewarding place. But since she's reversed, like, what's going on here? Because you, this one fell too. The Knight of Pentacles is slow, steady, consistent work. Um, so... If you're in this slow moving energy, in this place, why um, are you not in this, like in the fullness of your garden? And so has there been a, oh, a divine message that you have not acted on? Do you have a quest or a mission that's like you emotionally feel drained and you haven't it's like, you know your purpose and you know what you're supposed to do, but you're not doing it. Like, you got this divine message and now you're like, um, where do we go from here? <laughs> it's like, you should be in your garden with this nine of, uh, nine of pentacles upright and you've been consistent and you've done work, but you haven't. It's like you're missing the point. Um, oh, ooh, that's definitely it. What point is this? This is the sun card. So you know what you should be doing, Pisces. You know, you know, you know, you know. And when you do that, the sun is here for you to say, like, you know what to do. Like, it's yours. All this abundance is yours. But the fool is upside down. So it's like, you are not leaping. You are on the ledge. You are in this, like, naive energy of like I don't know it's like a childlike energy but in a very ignorant way I guess it's like <clears throat> and you have the two of cups reverse so this could be a divine soul relationship this could be um putting two parts of yourself together this could be a connection between you and someone you just met something's going on with a partner or a friend or yourself even and you have the knight of swords two three knights out now so it's saying you have in your mind you know what's right and you should move forward and charge on with your mission whatever that is it could be oh and here you have the king of pentacles so once you do that whatever this may be, you'll be in this energy of abundance and comfort and mm, like this happy place. But you're still stuck on something. Something is hanging you up. Like, it's already done, it's already happened, everything's dead, but you're still hung up in this energy when you should be moving on. You haven't taken your gift from the divine, this information, this idea, and ran with it. And that, ooh. But everything is here for you. Every good card you could possibly think of is here, Pisces. Every good card. The Four of Wands is beautiful. It's abundance. It's happiness. It's fulfillment. Ten of Cups is happiness, fulfillment. Nine of Pentacles is abundance two of cups is relationships the fool like all of these are out you have every good card out right now it's just what are you not seeing what point are you missing where are you not getting it what are you not speaking on or moving on or being happy about are you just like what what is keeping you hung up here let me clarify Okay, what is Pisces hung up about? What are they not doing that they need to do now? 
Oh, another soulmate card. This is the soulmate card. This is somebody from your past coming into your future, um, being present for this happiness and abundance and emotional fulfillment. This is a, the soulmate card. Everything about your whole reading is beautiful. It's just like, what? Where are you? Are you just not present? Like, what's going on, Pisces? Like, I'm so pumped for this reading, but I'm like, what? What are you doing? If it's a relationship, go get it. If it's a lover, go get them. If it's yourself and your mission, go get, go get it. Like, what are you not doing? What are you not seeing? Like, everything is perfect. Like, it's like you have a divine plan laid out in front of you, and you're just like, mm, eh, mm. it's like you're teeter tottering on the edge of the best thing ever whatever that may be in your life for each person it'll ring differently or you'll have it you'll have your own truth and your own thing whatever that may be but you're there oh something's keeping you hung up is it mm, an addiction is it another person is it your work is it something that you just can't let go of? Wow. What is making you feel chained and bound and trapped? What are you in the dark about? What are you not seeing about yourself and your in your own soul? Mm. Ah! Okay, so Queen of Wands. So what do you need to nurture in your own life? What darker part of yourself are you not seeing? She has the little cat. So sometimes people are, people are scared to go in their shadow self. They're scared of the shadow. They're scared of their darkness. But the darkness is sometimes where you left all your good shit. It's like your shadow self might be... It's like when you're a kid, you know what you want and nothing else matters it doesn't it, it don't matter about money it don't matter about what your friends think it don't matter about shit you just do you and that's your thing and you don't give a fuck about anybody else now as we grow up we learn to like repress those things because we're embarrassed or that's not what society likes or that's not that's weird or my friends aren't into that or that won't make me cool or that won't make me money or that takes too much college or this takes too much um that whatever so we shove those things in our shadow self, and then later on, they come out to haunt us almost. So the Page of Wands, the journey of a thousand steps starts with like one. The journey, maybe it's like the journey of a thousand miles starts with one step, something like that. Um, but that's what I kind of feel with this card. Like it's like, what small things can you do each day, and steps can you take each day to? get to your end destination it's like what small things can you do just to better yourself that are don't feel so overwhelming and don't feel like they take like <gasps> like you don't have to do every fucking thing tomorrow or today or even next week or even next month like you can break it down into small steps it's about seeing yourself clearly and judging yourself it's about um Judging yourself from a clear, balanced perspective. Don't be too hard on yourself. You're, right now, your mind is in a weird place. You're confused. You're not seeing and cutting through the bullshit. You're being in the bullshit. And what two sides of yourself do you need to bring together? What are these two forces that you need to pull together now? Like... And then you have the moon and the hanged man as the last two. So this is going to be big, life-changing stuff. It, you're feeling suspended. You're feeling hung up. You're feeling caught in the middle. And you just need to let go. And it's something to do in your subconscious, in this moon, in this darker area. You know, it's um going to the deep, deep, dark places in your life. Your childhood, your... Um, your relationships that were bad, going to these dark places within yourself, these corners, and sweeping the cobwebs out, going in there and realizing that there is no bad side, necessarily. It's like, if you would run a bath and 
are gonna get hot or cold water. It, well, it doesn't matter, they're the same thing. You know, it's like temperature is the same thing. Whether it's on this end or this end, they're all one. Like, it's just water. It doesn't matter what temperature it is. The people wanna make, oh, that's bad. Is it though? Isn't bad just another aspect of good? Doesn't everything contain the other? Isn't that what like life is about? Like preference? So what things do you need to go and find within yourself to not judge yourself so harshly and not be in this us versus them kind of thing? And you know, Pisces is illusions. Pisces is deception. Pisces is being in this this realm of like you guys are water, but it's like you're so dreamy that you get stuck in your dream. And sometimes it's like, okay, take it back down to Earth. Try to look at it from like the flipped side of yourself, which is like Virgo. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you look at an astrology chart across from you, would be Virgo. So it's like Virgo is all this energy of like work and realism etc etc and you guys are all this dreamy so where can you pull it back a little bit to make yourself balance where you can um cut ties or feel feel into those places where you felt were not a good place and figure out what made you in this bitter weird energy so that it can come through and your light can shine again, and you can be in the sun energy, and you can be with all these happy cards in a, in a re beautiful relationship, and find your twin flame, or your soulmate, or your lover, or the other side of yourself. Because that's what, that's what all this reading is really calling for. It's like, get out of your own way, because everything is right in front of you. Or open your eyes, take off your blindfold, realize that everything you want is directly in front of you, or directly inside you. And it's up to you to figure out... <clears throat> why it isn't happening because it's there it's already there for you so all right Pisces um have a beautiful day um subscribe like share check out my website if you guys want personal readings tylerdesantis.com you can't really see my art in the back but check it out on my website it's made with menstrual blood <laughs> and I also too talk about it on there so check it out guys love you see you in March bye